Welcome back to Good Day. You know there have been plenty of big lottery jackpots lately, but what about a big jackpot? Yes, Keith, Keith, uh, excuse me, Steve Keesley joins us with a friend from the Animal Rescue to explain more about this jackpot or jackpot that's yeah. going on. So, um, good morning. First. Yes, good morning. Uh, we are doing an online 50-50 raffle. We do them periodically throughout the year. Okay. So you can visit a website that we have, which is tar5050.com and buy your lottery tickets, half proceeds, just like any other 50-50, half go to you, okay. half go to us to help little animals like our friend Muppet. I was going to say, I know we went straight to the money, but I know everybody's eyes went straight to Muppet. So give us the full introduction. This is little Muppet. He's a Shih Tzu mix. Um, he's about five years old, and for some reason he's being very nervous right now, but he was great yeah. earlier. Uh, just like any of our other animals, he came in because his previous owners were unable to care for him anymore. Oh, okay. um, and it's always a tough decision for folks, but mm -hmm. they knew their limitations and brought him into us. And uh, I wish I had sh uh, sent in a picture of his before picture because he went to the groomer this week oh. um, for his for his TV, He's looking TV fresh. Debut. Yeah. yeah. Um, and so we have a groomer that is down the street, and I'm going to give a shameless plug for her, uh, Brooke at Hound Haven. So if you're looking for a new dog groomer, she's amazing, does great work. Uh, so she can make you look just like Muppet does. Correct. Even with the bow tie. Yeah. Because the bow tie is really what, you know, puts the bow on Muppet. Uh, so, of course, you're, you guys are there to help folks to where it's, mm. hey, I may be a little in over my head or I need help. You can kind of help with the transition so then folks like Muppet are feeling good. Yeah, and I think I've mentioned it before. We're, it's, it's no judgment from us. Um, life changes for folks and uh, sometimes they have to relinquish their beloved pets and so we try to make it as easy as possible. Um, we also occasionally when we have extra donated food if someone is in need that way uh, we want to help people keep their animals in the home too so we can give some temporary assistance as well. Yeah this nice to have the community resource to where it's like hey I need a little bit of help or can ask those questions and that's why supporting those fundraisers are a big help because what are all the uh, the items that that Jack Paw is going to help out? Um, we're going to dedicate the funds to spay and neuter surgeries um, but all of our animals that come in get vaccinated get treated for worms if they need it uh, dogs get heartworm tests and rabies vaccines spay or neutered and then they also get a, a microchip so if you were paying for those all those things at your vet you're talking hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars as opposed to just paying an adoption fee that goes towards continuing to help animals like Muppet and others yeah, and that's the thing, because Muppet isn't available just yet. He's kind of got to go through all that process. Right? Yeah, he, he's only been with us for about a week. Um, he still has to go uh, to get his neuter surgery. Um, but other than that, he is available for visits. Um, and I know he's not going to be around very long because he's absolutely ridiculous ridiculously sweet. He is such a nice little dog. I was going to say, he was smiling just a little bit ago, and I know everybody just went, oh, I fell in love. Yeah, because look at him. He's so cute. Now, do you have any deals that are going to be coming up for adoptions? We did um, one in June. Um, we're, we're thinking about kind of doing a, a Christmas in July type oh. uh, adoption uh, reduction fee or reducing fees for cats and kittens because it is Inevitable, we're still dealing with lots and lots of calls for people who are trying to get, give us kittens that they find, um, and simply we just run out of room until we can get them adopted out. Okay, so kitten season is still kind of going pretty strong here. And remind us the, the hours over the weekend if somebody wants to stop by for a visit. We do all of our visits between 10 and 3. Okay. Um, so we, we appreciate people calling and making um, an appointment um, or just calling ahead to see if we, we have uh, staff available because we want to make sure we give everybody who wants to look at animals the, the, the amount of time that they need to bond with the animals. Yeah. Um, it's not like looking at a menu and picking an, an item off, off the menu like the catfish we just saw. Uh, <laughs> it's, you're making a lifelong commitment. So we want people to spend the time. Yes. And remind us again how to get those tickets for the jackpot. It's at TAR5050.com. Okay. And how much were the tickets? Is it a deal? If there's you buy... different deals. You, there's a okay. set number for 10 bucks, for 25 bucks, for 50 bucks. Um, so there's, there's, it's all on there. Yeah. So you got to get in on it. Are you feeling lucky or if you think one of our viewers is going to be, you know, very lucky here? That would be amazing. Um, it would be it, it would be very cool if uh, someone who's watching this buys tickets and and does it and maybe we can get Amanda to do a drawing again like she did I think last year. Or the year oh, before. maybe I bet she's on her way back because she's not going to want to miss Muppet and make sure you don't either. Thank you both though for coming in this morning. Absolutely, and uh, congratulations on the new job. We will miss you a lot. Thank you, thank you. Yes, so we still have a much more good day yet to come. I know Amanda, she's probably right around the corner. I haven't heard her yet, so make sure you stay with us. We still have more good day coming your way on this Friday.